Hi fellas, uh, Nige back here again uh, and today we're going to have an inbox review and we're going to be looking at AMK's Israeli, Israeli sorry, uh, KFER C2C7 Okay, uh, Really nice looking aircraft, uh, I've been wanting one of these for a while so we'll, uh, we'll, what we'll do, we'll dive straight in and we'll, we'll take a look So, I'll open the box Okay, also we get the instructions uh, some plastic uh, uh, wallets for all the screws in and then we get the two cardboard boxes plus the, the decals so what we'll do I'll touch further over the toe head and we'll start off yeah uh, there's the instructions okay uh, there I believe there as it says here one two three four five markings okay so uh, and the paint call out so all the well, majority of them in, are in fs numbers okay so you've got your burnt iron and then you've got your aircraft k we've got your sf numbers so uh, a good converter might be uh, the way to go with this one uh, and then we've got uh, sir anklin one an israeli one a usa version so that's probably uh a demonstrator version or something uh, like that I'm not 100% certain an Ecuadorian one and a Colombian one okay and obviously we're going to be going with this one so there we've got the color call outs the actual decal placements on all that sort of stuff okay so the Sri Lankan the Israeli the Antac USA uh, I don't know I don't know much about that one I'll have to do read up on something like that unless somebody knows anything about that one uh, the Ecuadorian and the Colombian and then the last color call out one we've got all the uh, the ordnance and the fuel tanks and all that sort of stuff and then when we get in we move on to the uh, the actual building the aircraft and also we start with the uh, cockpit and the instrument uh, panel so you've got your C2 and your C7 panel so you'll have to make sure you know which one you are building uh, the wheel well is part of the underside of the uh, cockpit and then as normal the two slides uh, two sides uh, come together we then move on to the wings and putting the wheel wells in and then the uh, upper wings, okay, before we then join it all to the fuselage with the intakes. And then we've got the, the outer parts of the intakes and the canards, as well as other bits and pieces that go on there. We then move on to the landing gears. So we've got the doors, the actual main landing gear itself. Uh, central hub okay get sandwiched by two parts uh, of the wheel and then other bits and pieces that go on there the nose wheel and then we move on to the uh, the nose now on this there's no weight or tells me how much weight I need to put in there so uh, you know it's, it's best to test fit okay so you'll be able to test fit that in there and you should be able to because the center of gravity will also be over the uh the real wheels what i normally do i'll put the noise on attach it put my finger and then if it's nose heavy i know it's going to be okay uh, and then we're looking at doing the the engine which is a separate piece of slots in which is good it means you can paint it uh before it actually all goes together uh and you don't have to worry about masking or anything like that we then move on to the actual tail, putting the bits of the tails, some bits of the uh, bomb pylons, uh, the the canopy and the ejection seat. Uh, so for the C2 or the C7, so there's two, go make sure you know which one you're doing to start with for your two different uh, seats. Uh, I'm wondering whether you could have the canopy open or whether it's got to be closed we'll look at that when we get to it 
And then we've got all the weapons for the T2, C7, and then the loadout, how they all go on. And that, to me, just looks mean as. Okay, we all the different pylons, and then we've got the C2 and the C3. So yeah, they look really, really cool. And then we've got a sprue map at the end. Okay, so let's just have a look at the C2. So for the Israeli one, I'm gonna be doing the C7. So there's only two C7s. Okay, the Colombian and the Israeli one. The rest are C2. So we'll, we will be going for that loadout. Okay, so make sure you, you know which one you're going for when you go for it. And then we'll move on to the plastic parts. So they come in these really, really nice bags. And something I do like some com that some companies do do is these resealable bags. It means you can put, you don't have to cut it open or anything like that. You can put them back nicely and all that sort of stuff. So we'll start with the main fuselage. And straight away, you can tell it's some really, really nice detail on there. Okay, some nice restrained rivets panel lines and all that good stuff so this is through a okay nothing on the internal but i'm hoping you can p pick up some of those nice panel lines it's nice nice plastic as well so i'm hoping it should go together really well uh yeah yeah it's quite cool that might have to just get rid of these uh, ejection pin marks here just so the the touch uh, got together correctly uh, and the ones up here Okay, it's a little bit of raised detail, which might stop it from uh, sitting flush against each other. Next up, we have got some of the cockpit place uh, parts. Uh, so I believe that's part of the cockpit. Okay, some really, really nice detail on there. Wheel wells, uh, engine parts, exhaust, some more of the wheel well bits, some nice detail on these. These... these Parts are really, really nice, and then you've got the one of the uh, instrument panels. Because don't forget, there are two different types. And then we turn it over, and then we can see the actual cockpit itself, so with the the buttons and all what have you. Some nice detail on the wheel wells, uh, the wheel uh, bay doors. Uh, a little bit of a short shot there and there. We'd have to have a look, see if whether we can hide that or whether we need to deal with it or all like that. Nose wheel. Okay, so, so again, some really, really nice detail on here. All right. Next one. There are four sprues in this. Okay, uh, two. Let's have a look to see if we can open them up. Two of each. So we've got two parts with engine and wheels and two parts with a what looks like a, a fuel tank. So we'll just move them out of the way in a minute. Okay, so then we've got a fuel tank. Nothing special, nothing to write home about, but some really nice root detail on the fins around the, the tail there. Okay, yeah, it's quite cool that one. And then the other one is part of the engine. Okay, some nice, nice detail. What it might have to be careful with though is if you can just see that injection mark there, it's got to be dealt with somehow. Shouldn't be too hard to do. A couple of strike scrapes of a, a knife. And then the two wheels, the hub and the two tyres themselves. We other bits of dangly bits uh, that go all over there. Next up, we have got two screws again with some bombs on there. So I'll just take one out this time. If I can get out one. Okay. Uh, and yeah, just the bombs. Again, some nice detail. Uh, pylons. Just there with a nice, well, I don't know whether that's a deck cord, not a deck cord, but a, you know what I mean, a, a control wire or anything like that. Ejection seat. Now, this should be the two different types of ejection seat, so we'll have a look at them both. So we've got the G, uh, Sprue G. Uh, this, I believe, is for the G, uh, for the C2. So the side of the injection sink, the cushion, the handles, and the main cushion just there. So that's nicely, nicely molded, molded, molded together. And then the other one for the C7, slightly different. Okay, you can see, if I 
compare the two side by side, how different they are. All right. And then we've got the, the tops and the seat cushion again and all that sort of stuff. Next up uh, is the wings. I'll just put these bits out if I can. Without messing everything up. So we've got the lower wing again. Same as on the fuselage, some really, really nice detail on here. Okay. And there's nothing to tell me that this kit won't build up nicely. There's nothing in there that, that's throwing up any sort of problems at all. No flash or, or anything like that. Upper wings, again, some nice detail. The nose, uh, parts of the actual uh, air intakes from the canards, and the other instrument panel for the cockpit. Again, some really, really nice detail. Uh, nothing to write home about, about the fit or anything like that. I might have to deal with some injection pin marks just there. Before we move on to clear parts, we've got two boxes. So as you can see, we've got some more bombs and rockets. So we'll open this one first. And these, Get the other one out, pull the ones out, should I say, are all one piece. Okay, so you know, look at that. Well, near enough, all one piece, but just look at that. Ain't that fantastic? And the other one, again, some really nice detail. No slightly seam lines to be to be worried about. Four of these ones. Okay, you notice how they all stack up. And they actually they actually lock into each other. Okay, let's put them over there. So there's four of these. Some really really nice detail raised rivets on there. And then the last one out of that box. Some smaller rockets. Again, some nice, nice detail. Really do like this. Reminiscent of a Great Wall Hobby. So that's those out of that first box. After the next one, we get six and a four, so we'll open this up and have a look. So, six and a four. Again, all interlocked together. So we can have a proper look at these. Really, really nice. Get a there, pull a little over there. And then some more bigger ones, a bit like the, the other ones. Four in here. And again, yeah, I really like that. All right, so that's all the gray sprues. Okay, so we'll just put them out the way so we are not going away. Next up we have got a decal sheet. Oh no, clear parts first. Clear parts. They are really really nice, crystal clear. A bit scratched in the where they're going but they should be able to puff out. But again some really really nice work by AMK. Next up, the decals. Okay, so decal sheet. 
they look really nice. Uh, not massive amounts of carry film. So, but should bed down nicely, but we'll see when we, when we actually come to use them. A little bit, can you just see the, the red on each individual one? It's a little bit out of register on the blue, look at the blue. Not quite correct, not quite there. The flag as well. So that's not that great. The US ones as well. Okay, just slightly, ever so slightly off. So that'd be something to be uh, watchful for. The same with the flag up there. Uh, they're not perfect. Uh, but they should. It should serve or as long as you don't have a too close of inspection. So that's AMK's uh, KFO, or however we pronounce it. Really, really nice uh, kit. Uh, some lovely detail all around. I especially liked all, all the weapons uh, on there, you know, to how they're all slick molded and what have you. Uh, the decals look like they could let let it down because of the not quite in register but other than that this is, should be a fairly enjoyable build uh, steve's group build i know runs for a year i'll have to check how long i'm pretty sure i've got plenty of time anyway uh, so i'll probably look at starting this within the next couple of months i would think for it to get it done for for his group build but that so far is that we with, with regards to the inbox review. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.